In today's video, I've updated my map voting system for the Roblox FPS template. But this system can be used for other Roblox games as well. Before we start, thanks for all the suggestions and support. It means a lot. Now, in the description you will find a free model. The system will have some testing maps included, but you can get rid of those. I recommend watching the whole video so you can learn how to add your own maps to the voting system. Open up the template and ungroup each model into their correct places. For instance, replicate storage into replicate storage, service script service into service script service, etc. And we'll do that right now. I'd recommend removing everything else in workspace that has spawn locations and to move the loadout spawn far away. Once you're done, you'll need to open up Service Storage, Maps, as well as Replicated Storage, Map Thumbnails. You'll need to add your map into the Maps folder as a model, and in Map Thumbnails, you will create the string value with the same name as your map model. For instance, map 1, map 1, map 2, map 2, map 3, map 3, etc. The string value's value can be a decal of your map. For instance, this is a decal ID. If you're using my updated loadout system, open up the readme script. Then copy this code and go into storage UI, main, loadout client, and scroll down to deploy weapon. Then select the whole function and paste the new code that you've just copied. If you're not using my loadout system, you'll need to modify the part of your loadout where you can deploy and add an if statement that says, if loading that value is equal to false, and round start that value is equal to true, then the rest of the code gets executed. You will also need to make it teleport the player to any spawn location inside of the loaded map, as shown here. And lastly, you need to copy the text label inside of the readme into surge UI, main, loadout. Now you're all set. Let's play test it. As you can see, if I choose a map, the number of votes for that map will go up. And if I choose another map, it will unselect the previous map and the number of votes for this map will go up. If I try to deploy while voting is still in progress, this warning label will pop up. Once voting ends, I can finally spawn. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. And don't forget to vote in the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.